Hello my soccer universe and yes I think this is the debut of the Parma jersey in a review preview video. I think I wore it once in a jersey uh, video but other than that I have never worn this one so here it goes. Wonderful Parma 1819 away jersey. One of my favorites from that season. But and Parma it will be playing this week so I had to make sure <laughs> that it uh, is playing within the scope of what we're having here but we're not starting in italy we go by the uefa ranking and we'll start in spain where yes on monday we have already via real against sevilla and leganes against granada um i think the big name matchup is barcelona bilbao although i promised myself this is a 10 o'clock game and during the week i think i can only watch this on friday or saturday uh, but i'm not gonna watch barcelona at 10 o'clock anymore uh they have been disappointing me now so many times it's just the rap and bilbao is also not that exciting of a team so sorry for not hyping it up a bit more um for some reason sociedad against celta vigo sounds like a good game to me don't ask me why but uh there is quite some stuff riding there uh levante atletico also i think that on tuesday at 7 30 looks like an interesting game and not forgetting Real Madrid, who I have barely watched, and they're playing actually well. Plays at home to Mallorca. I would expect a few goals in there. Let's move to the Premier League. Um, also, they're having a Tuesday up until Thursday round, so they're going on a regular schedule now. Um, I think if we look at it, there's a United against Sheffield United uh, a game that is a huge one. There's also hot, uh, Tottenham against West Ham, um, a London derby in there. Um, and of course the big one is Thursday evening, Chelsea against Man City, although I'm not sure how much is riding on the game, maybe more for Chelsea than Man City to uh, be honest. And Liverpool, potential title clincher against Crystal Palace at home. So let's see about that. It needs Liverpool has a player needs a win today of Liverpool, and if they win that one, then they might as well win the title right there. So it could be all over in England. Serie A. Um, again, we talk about the Monday games. I do it once again. Lecce Milan is one that I will for sure watch. There's also Fiorentina, Brescia, and Bologna, Juve. Um, but I think everything points to Wednesday evening. Uh, Roma Sampdoria is a classic matchup, but I think if there's one game you should watch, it's Atalanta against Lazio. There is no question about it. This is, uh, it will have potential huge uh, championship implications. Also, depending on what Juve is doing on Monday. And note that Juve will have played three times already before Lazio takes the field. Kind of uh, strange. Thing. Also, Verona against Napoli does not sound that uninteresting. And we have Parma at Genoa. Since I'm wearing a jersey, I'm going to mention that game too. Let's move to Portugal, who have a Sunday through Friday. I, I, I really don't get the Portugal scheduling, to, to be honest. Uh, I think they could easily play either two rounds a week, or if you play one round a week, just... Uh, you know, make it Thursday through Sunday or something. Not always that you play uh, six days a week, then you stop and then you start another six days and then it gets all out of whack. So we have a Sunday through Friday uh, around. Maybe then we have another Sunday through Friday. Anyway, uh, the big one there is Porto against Boavista. It's all Tuesday evening. Porto against Boavista and Benfica against Santa Clara. Note the similarities in club crests uh, there. The Portuguese uh, chase for the title is interesting, but it's not very exciting. Also, Prague Guimarães is a local rival rivalry that I would would watch if it wasn't at ten o'clock, and if 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 I could watch it, but that looks interesting. Prague had a very bad start, and then Austria. Um, we have the big one Wednesday evening. Uh, Rapid Salzburg, that's uh, two against one. However, depending on how results go, this more or less could already clinch the title for Salzburg with uh, four games to spare. So yeah, um, everything that is happening, um, especially with Lask dropping away due to uh, points deductions and also uh, unlucky results, let's put it that way, uh, Salzburg will get this title. Unless Rapid can put here an upset and 
you know, prolong it a little bit more. Uh, Wolfsburg against Sturm should be a good one, but Sturm is also so, so bad that Hartberg against Lask looks a little bit better, to be honest. I will be watching Lask because it's my Lask, so I will do that. So, that's what to watch during the midweek. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!